welcome to another uh, case study so we are doing this case study so which is saying so what is your diagnosis so this is what is your diagnosis and name four risk factors for this condition name two maternal complications and two fetal complications so as you can see this infant it's uh, very big so the question is what is your diagnosis so the diagnosis here is macrosomia the name for risk factors for this condition so risk factors we can have uh, gestation diabetes which means the mother could have been uh, could have had uh, gestation diabetes and uh, previous history of uh, that's previous history so uh, previous gestation diabetes and previous history of a uh, microsomic baby maternal obesity and prolonged uh, gestation so those are some of the risk factors for this condition okay then let's go to um, um, complications so what are the maternal complications so under maternal complications we can have pph increased risk of uh, placenta abruption so those are some of the maternal complications but remember these are just the ones we picked out they are not the actual they are not the only ones okay then mention took two fetal complications so fetal complications so fetal complications can have shoulder dystocia cervical bone fracture and have others we have, have polythythemia hypoglycemia hyperbilirubinemia delayed uh, lung maturity prolonged labor and the risk of uh, fetal uh, distress and also there is uh, maybe they didn't put but if we were to put another question we would ask to say um so let's say these babies this same uh, person who gave birth to this uh, uh, child to this unit let's say she had had uh, she had uh, four previous pregnancies and all of our children were actually very big and uh, but the bad part is they used to die at night so meaning this was the fifth child so so she had about five pregnancies g5 then parity she all children were eating parity but we, uh, they used to die at night so para zero plus plus four so meaning she's now para five so now para five so now para five now para zero now para one uh, so she's now para one plus five plus four i mean so she's now para one plus four since one is is arrived so the question my task to is okay explain why the four children were dying at night so was there anything special about them dying at night because one she's diabetic two the other children she used to have were um, um were also macrosomic now they all used to die at night so explain why uh these those children were dying at night and the other question is uh differentials for any uh macrosomic baby so that the differentials okay then uh, what condition do you actually associate with a macrosomic baby apart from the gdm or infant of diabetic mother then the other question is how do you pre how can you prevent uh, the fifth child to die uh, from dying at night so those are some of the questions you might be familiar with and uh thank you for watching this is the end of the tutorial please subscribe and uh watch uh try to also view other uh, case studies all right thank you for watching and see you in the next uh, uh tutorial